Okay, everybody, a thread from Draw and Strike on Twitter, Brian Cates, from April 30th. There's a document posted by Svetlana Lokova, the victim of Stefan Halper. This is Brian's thread on it. The CHS, confidential human source, is Halper, and the redacted got into CR's cab, according to the tale that the CHS tells, had to be Svetlana Lokova. This is Halper telling people that Lokova compromised Flynn. These redactions are worthless. Anybody who's followed Spygate from the start knows who the CHS is and that stories were planted in the media beginning in 2017 about Flynn supposedly being compromised by a Russian graduate student at a seminar held at Cambridge in 2014. And note this well. Halper, the CHS, is lying when he tells the FBI Crossfire Hurricane team that he is relating to them an incident he witnessed personally. He was not there at the 2014 Cambridge Intelligence Seminar, dinner where Lokova and Flynn met for the first and only time. He's caught. This isn't some anonymously sourced story being peddled to the Wall Street Journal or the UK Guardian. This is a paid FBI confidential human source lying his ass off about an incident that happened at a Cambridge event where he was not present. He's making it up that Lokova got in Flynn's cab. These newly unsealed documents, with their worthless redactions, directly tie this FBI confidential human source, who we know already is Stefan Halper, to anonymous stories being circulated in the Wall Street Journal, The Guardian, and other media outlets about the 2014 Cambridge seminar where Flynn and Lokova met. For over two years, Halper has stridently insisted and threatened to sue people who claim he was the anonymous source behind the media stories about Lokova compromising Flynn at the 2014 Cambridge seminar. But now he can't deny it because he anonymously accused her of being a Russian agent through media stories planted with outlets like the Wall Street Journal and The Guardian, Halper caused Lokova to lose her job and a generous book contract. He would use her and then discard her to place Flynn under suspicion as she fought to get her life back, filing lawsuits, and giving interviews, Halper has until now laughed this off because he thought he would be protected and nothing was going to happen to him. While Lokova has lived out of suitcases in hotels, Halper is hiding in a hole somewhere. But now, there's official unsealed federal law enforcement documents being provided by the Department of Justice itself, which reveal the FBI confidential human source telling the Crossfire Hurricane team members the same story. We know this is Halper. Gird your loins, Mr. Halper. You're about to get dragged out of whatever hole you've been hiding in for the last two years. People don't understand why I'm excited about this. I only waited over two years for documentary evidence that Halper was the anonymous source going around planting the suspicion Flynn was a Russian agent by framing both him and Lokova. Why is this hard to grasp? When you've known something that's true for over two years, but you can't prove it, how do you feel when the evidence suddenly appears? I feel pretty damn good. Note 
this well. Most of the people at that 2014 Cambridge seminar dinner know who Halper is, and they will testify he was not there. Halper told the FBI Crossfire Hurricane team a demonstrably provable falsehood about being an eyewitness when he wasn't there.